What's up, everybody, and happy Pride Month. This is your girl, Nova, host and spirits guide of Course and Curated. And on this episode, we'll be getting into rhodium, coffee, and black walnut flavored vodka. Okay, y'all, so let's learn a little bit about rhodium. Rhodium is basically a branch of Rhode Island Spirits, which is a woman and queer owned brand by spouses Kathy Ford and Kara Larson. They operate as New England's only LGBTQ owned spirits brand. And before we get into how this all was conceptualized, let's learn about Kathy and Kara. Kathy ran her own business for 15 years, which is a nonprofit devoted to social justice issues. She also has a background in foraging, which is just another practice of gathering wild food and botanicals for free, which ultimately is gonna come in handy when they started the brand. Before they conceptualized Rhode Island Spirits, they lived in Maine and happened to move in England in 2014 for a marketing job that Kara took. So Kara was basically having a background in marketing. While volunteering at a food show in England, they tried one of the gins at a sample table and they really fell in love with it. That's when they recognized how local ingredients can really bring out the taste of a gin. Kathy and Kara ended up back in the States in 2017 where they wanted to figure out the next steps in their career. So they happened to move to Rhode Island. Kathy suggested that they should buy a farm, grow lots of potatoes and make vodka to retire because the base of vodka is potatoes but they realized that they actually liked gin more and spent a year learning how to make it to start their business. So using their combined skills in marketing and foraging, they launched the brand in 2019 and happened to rent a space within a Pawtucket mill. They started with mostly gins and vodkas and they presented it in a tasting room, which was basically the highlight and selling point of their product. The tasting rooms had a bar with board games, coffee tables, all that jazz to attract all the people in. They happened to use botanical ingredients and partner with small farms, again, to forage the organic ingredients. They're a 100% green company, meaning they repurpose everything they use. So for example, they make a citronella vodka and the citrus goes to feeding the pigs. And the coffee beans for uh, the black walnut and coffee vodka goes to another local farm to put under their blueberry trees. Along with their brand, they are huge LGBTQ advocates. They organize fundraisers for queer political candidates, pride organizations, and other LGBTQIAA aligned causes. They provide space for the Rhode Island Feminist and Queer Happy Hour. They contribute product and support to other queer owned businesses. And they even supported Rhode Island Pride's COVID-19 emergency supply drive. So what they did was they used their cargo van to supply food and other necessities to those in need impacted by the pandemic. They contribute recipes, auction items, and live demos to virtual and in-person pride events. So they're really all about it. This wonderful couple, I had so much fun learning about the brand and they have all different other types. They have vodkas, they have gins. So let's get to the fun part and taste it. Okay, y'all, now on to the fun part. We're gonna be tasting the coffee and black walnut flavored vodka. Obviously, I thought this was a, you know, a different flavor, so we're trying to think outside the box with it. I really love uh, the labeling. If you look closely, it also has like the pride flag on it to show that the owners are queer. Um, and basically, the ingredients in this is literally uh, black walnuts that was foraged by one of the owners and uh, a decaf coffee, so decaf from Down East Coffee Roasters, which is um, a coffee bean roaster in Rhode Island. So apparently they extracted the black walnut from hand or by hand and uh, yeah, a touch of cardamom. I like cardamom. This is 30% alcohol by volume. So let's taste it. I have one of my favorite glasses here. This is called a Nick and Nora glass. So I don't even know if this is the right glass, but it doesn't matter. We use whatever glass we want. So on first open, it literally smells like coffee. So I'm excited. I know that espresso martinis is now the thing. So I happen to be looking up some recipes for it uh, because I guess you make an espresso martini with like liqueur, coffee, vodka. And for this, it's like use this and cold brew. I feel like that's doing too much. So if I made an espresso martini with this, I'd probably just use this, like the simple syrup or and whatever else, but not any more coffee. So, all right, let's just taste it and see how it is. It does, it smells really good though. Oh, that's, that's nice. Okay. 
wow, I'm impressed. It's good. Um, it literally, it tastes just like a sweet and iced coffee. You know how people be throwing like liquor in, or Baileys in their cups like in the morning? You know what I mean? This is literally what it tastes like to me. So just like coffee, some sugar, and some alcohol. I like it. This is good. They did a really good job. And the fact that it's like local and organic ingredients, I love the idea of foraging so that this way there's zero waste. Like, I love the idea that somebody can go into the wilderness and be able to discern what plants, you know, to, to use. Or I feel like one of the founders said that, you know, how a lot of trees just like bear fruit and then they drop on the ground and then they rot. So what she does is she'll go and collect those fruits and walnuts or whatever it is and then reuse them for the spirit. So I love that. This is an eco-friendly drink to get you lit because it is strong. It burns going down. It does burn, but I really like it. Um, I feel like I'd, I'd have this on hand for my friends that like espresso martinis. Maybe we'll make one. But like I said, I wouldn't add any more coffee to it. I mean, it's, it's decaf, but y'all don't need no more coffee. This is, this is good enough, so. Love it. Okay, I think I paid about like $29. So the price range for this goes for like $29, $30. Um, I actually got this from a wine and spirit shop. They have a location in DC and one in Boston called Urban Grape. So shout out to them. Cause let me tell you, like sometimes when I'm looking for specific brands and especially for pride, I wanted to only feature, um, LGBTQ brands. It was hard to find and they got me my bottles right in the nick of time. Okay. So shout out to Logan for getting me my, my stuff on time. Um, and check them out. I believe they're black owned. And they do a lot of DEI initiatives. So shout out to the Urban Great uh, for the fast shipping. But love this. Um, if you're in Rhode Island, go check out their tasting room. They're still up and running on the website. We'll uh, tag that down below. They have other gins and vodkas. And then they have some liqueurs like the limoncello. So yeah, I really, I feel like I picked a good choice. I love it. I think it's delicious. Um, definitely chilled you want to have this super cold so i'd probably leave this in the freezer for a little bit but yeah that's it shout out to them uh, for for doing the thing and uh for being a queer brand that's really like making strides so thank y'all so much for tuning in i'm gonna enjoy my little drink remember to drink responsibly and we'll see you next time